and people lined the parking lot. They camped out throughout the afternoon to make sure they got the best seat in the house. And there were also protesters here, very peaceful. So they were speaking out against the Harris Wall, specifically about how they've handled the Israel-Hamas war. WSAV Sarah Smith is joining us live from outside of the arena with their message today. And Sarah, this isn't the first time that they've protested a Harris event. That's right. This local group was at Vice President Kamala Harris's last stop in Savannah at the convention center. That was her reproductive freedoms tour stop. Now, the group gathered outside the in-market arena today just before 2 p.m. While no one was available to speak with us on camera, I did send them a few questions about their demonstration. However, we're still waiting for their response. We'll update you on that as we learn more. But they weren't the only protesters here today. A man traveled all the way from Miami Beach to demonstrate here. He's still sitting at the entrance of one of the parking lots here at the in market arena protesting this campaign. He's he just can't get behind Harrison walls mainly because of their handling of the Israel Hamas war. Now, despite being a Democrat, he says he's voting for former President Donald Trump this November. I think the only one that's got a big enough mouth to scare everybody is Trump. So I have to go along in that direction. I'm not a Republican. I, I want the Republicans to find us a spine and fight back. What is their problem? Why are we in this mess if they'd open up their mouth? But they haven't. Trump is carrying the water for everybody, but I'm there for him. I'm there for the country. I'm there for Israel. And I realize that we're in grave danger if we go in this direction much further. Other Trump supporters and protesters were seen at the perimeter of this arena today. Some even joined Kunst at the end of the parking lot entrance. Now, meanwhile, Georgia Governor Brian Kemp is raising money to support Trump's bid for the White House. I'll tell you more coming up on News.